2012 Olympics looming ever closer. The question on everybody's lips, are we in with a chance when it comes to bagging some gold medals? Well, the pressure is already on and it's hard to believe it was four years ago in Beijing when our first guest claimed the first British gold medal for swimming in 48 years. Coming back is Adlington though. Adlington in five. Jackson in six. Adlington in five. They're starting to catch off. Come on, Great Britain in five and six. Could we get two medals here? It looks like it could be Adlington. It's going to be the gold medalist. Oh yes. my goodness, it is. Great Britain have won a gold in the swimming pool. A stunning swim. First and third. First and third for Great Britain. That was a masterful swim. I cannot believe it. Stunning stuff from Adlington. And we've waited. 48 years for a gold medal from a British woman. Please welcome Rebecca Adlington. Lovely to meet you. And do you know, we all welled up a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> Even the cynical old boots went to be yeah. <laughs> I still get nervous watching it. I'm like, come on, why are you so far behind? I still get angry. Do you sometimes think you're going to watch it and, and you're not going to win? <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. I get nervous and I'm just like, why, was, why am I so far behind? Well, chocolate. No. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> what was it like being there? I mean, obviously, you, you go, you set out to do your best. You couldn't possibly have known that you were, you know, you were going to head back home with your two lovely chocolate medals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what was it like that day? It was absolutely unbelievable. I never even expected it. I was only 19, so I was just like, I'll just go along, gain some experience, ready yeah. for London, and, and came away with two golds. It was just unbelievable. I was just too emotional. So <laughs> and you really some pressure time. really on you now. A little that. bit. It is, isn't it? Yeah, but at the same time, like, all the crowd would be cheering for us for a change. Like, I've never raced where all the crowd has been behind me or been behind British yeah. people in general. And to have that sort of support... You're on your home ground, though. Yeah, yeah, like, you always swim better because everyone's cheering for you for Can a you change. Can you hear it, though, with all the water in your ears? <laughs> yeah, like, Can beforehand. You? Wait, and you go, <laughs> like that. You're all cheering. <laughs> But you can see it, and it's just different when everyone's willing you on. Can we can we just look at those beautiful gold medals? Yeah, can we touch? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Can I put it on? Are they, are they gold? I don't oh, they're know. heavy. I keep them in a Christian yeah. Louboutin shoe bag. In a shoe bag? <laughs> you don't. And when you did uh, the last wow. Olympics, did you stay in an Olympic village? And when you go to the London Olympics, will you stay in an Olympic village or will you stay with a relative down the road? <laughs> <laughs> no, we stayed in the village in Beijing and I'd love to just be in the village again. Honestly, it's like a big theme park. Like, you're so excited running around the village. It's amazing. Is it like going away on a school trip? Yeah. It is. Oh, yeah. You go into the cafe and then there's like the McDonald's bit, you get all the, like, the different food McDonald's bits. McDonald's for sports people, <laughs> <laughs> We do. It's amazing. Well, what's it like amongst all the all the swimmers? I mean, obviously it's so competitive. Do you are you friends? Do you speak to each other? Or are you like mm. we're best friends? We speak really? to each other like every day. I think that's the difference with swimming. Like it's such unsociable hours. Like we're up at quarter past five in the morning. Mm. We train late every in the day. evening every day, and it's just it gets to the point where your friends are your swimmer. Like they're just yeah. swimmers. Like you can't really have that many friends outside of the sport because they don't get it. So. For us, we're just so close, and you do become like a little family. And it's quite a solitary sport, isn't it, yeah. Sherry? Isn't it? Because, uh, like I say, it's just you pounding up yeah. and down and up and down. It's not. It's not necessarily a team sport where you're throwing a ball back and forth to each other. Exactly. That's why the support's so important, though, and it's so nice to have that. Mm -hmm. But you do have to be very competitive, though, don't you? You can't be friends all the time. No. As soon as you dive in the pool, it's <laughs> like it. a whole different person. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm beating you. <laughs> when you're swimming, when you were swimming, then are you uh, aware of, of how? Far you are or behind or if, uh, you must be aware you are somehow. sometimes for the 800 i knew i was in front so i was just like come on just post the time but for the 400 i just i didn't even know i was just like oh i'm gonna come like third here good medal like i was like really pleased and then yeah. i finished and looked up i was like how did i win that like that's impossible <laughs> <gasps> Did you yes. find it difficult coming back from the Olympics? Because obviously, you know, you said you went out there, you didn't necessarily expect to win. Um, did you find your performance changed at all? Did it take a wee dip? And, and, and if it did, how are you going to push yourself forward to this Olympics? Uh, like 2009 was a difficult year. I just kind of let the pressure and let it all get to me too much and just kind of got overwhelmed with it all. It was so new to me and I was just like, oh my God, I'm so inexperienced. I was only 20. I was just kind of mm. got let it all get to me. And then now I've kind of found a way to just relax and enjoy it and now I just have so much fun with it and I just 
love doing what I do. Do you ever swim for fun? Do you ever sort of just splash around in the shallow end? And <laughs> you, you know, like, I was saying that I swam naked in Finland. Have you ever had that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't want to swim naked. Ever. <laughs> Olympics originally were naked, so, you know, oh they, they could well bring it back. <laughs> no one should ever see me naked. It's not a <laughs> nice So, as a, as a competitor, do, do your family and friends get priority tickets? No. No. Oh, like, they've really? applied, they all text me this morning going, oh, we've applied. I was like, you have got six weeks to apply, you know. You don't have to do it straight away. They're like, no, we're so excited, we have to. So, they, they said that the six weeks was because they didn't want to log jam on the internet. And, yeah. You know, there's no real priority. Everybody just applies and... And, I mean, do you think that's good to do that? I think it's good. I think it means that, like, people don't miss out. If you've got six weeks to do it, like, if someone was away this morning or couldn't get on mm. the internet or anything, you would have been so upset, whereas you've got six weeks to do it. It's not a first-come, first-served basis, so... Right. It's just so good, and you choose what you want to see, so you apply. But what if your apply. family don't get to see you in the races that you're doing? I have to turn on the telecast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they'll be there. If they apply for tickets, they're going to be there, but they might not get into your race. Um, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? It would be, but that's, it has to be fair. Like, there's no fair way of doing it. Mm. So what, what races are people looking for? I mean, for instance, like you, uh, do they say, well, I want to see you do that? Because not necessarily going to get that, are they? No, well, like... You apply for what you want to see. So, like, my parents will have applied for all my days that I'm swimming and then anything extra they want to see, oh. and then it's just whatever they come back with. They're not randomly just going to get mm. hockey tickets given to them when they haven't applied for it. OK. And, and no. are you going for the 400 and 800 metres again? Hopefully. Hopefully, what you don't know. We <laughs> don't, don't, we don't know. Them. We don't qualify till next oh, March, so okay. we don't actually know until next year whether we're actually going or not. And away from swimming, are there any sports that you will be going along yeah. to, to watch? I would love to watch the cycling. Like, I absolutely love Chris Hoy. He's a close friend, and I uh -huh. just think he's amazing. I'd love to be cheering him on. And also the athletics. It's so good to be inside that stadium with all them people yeah. just, like, cheering. And don't you love the javelin? <laughs> She's jabbing <laughs> out, jabbing in there. I love it. <laughs> Oh, we, we wish you all the very best of luck. Thank and has you. she changed your mind, you two grumps? Um, I would... I would I'd go, watch. Her. Yeah. go watch. Okay. But I'd enjoy racing her more. In the, <laughs> in the shallow end. Yeah, yeah with all the bands on. Not naked. Okay, not <laughs> naked. Okay. That's Rebecca Addington, everyone.